Isn't it sketchy to you that we don't have a live stream of the Earth in entirety? Oh look, it's just a live stream of the Earth. I found out by looking it up on YouTube. Why didn't you? <laughs> Where's the picture of us just getting to see the Earth and the Moon and the Sun all in a picture? Well, I guess you could say here is a picture of all three, but I'm sure that's not actually what you wanted because your standards of sufficient evidence are way too high. <laughs> Why don't we get an eclipse from the outside? Because then it wouldn't be an eclipse. An eclipse is only an eclipse from our perspective. Like the moon comes in our line of sight with the sun. If we move our line of sight, it's no longer in line with the sun. So if I showed you a picture of an eclipse from space, it wouldn't look like an eclipse. It just looked like space. <laughs> Why don't we get to zoom in on the bottom of the globe and just see things upside down? <laughs> Why can't I see a rocket re-enter the atmosphere? Oh look, a video of the rocket re-entering the atmosphere. It's almost like you can just find these online. <laughs> Why do we not have a station with like high definition cameras and observatory set up on the moon already? Because why would we? It's expensive and dangerous and doesn't come with any practical reasons of doing so. <laughs> Why did we not stay on the moon as the United States so we could have the most efficient tactical positioning in military history? Yes, because taking days to get to anywhere on Earth is very tactical. <laughs> Why is it that we haven't been back there? Well, we have. But even ignoring that, it comes back to my question. Why would we? We went. We saw it was there. We came home. But you want them to spend millions of dollars to go back just because a few nobodies online didn't believe them? <laughs> It's just a cult. No, believing science is not a cult. Thank you.